six real estate cold calling mistakes to avoid. This video is very important for every person on this planet who wants to start a real estate business or who wants to grow his real estate business. Because calling is an integral part of a real estate business. Generally, we have found that many people do same kind of mistakes while they do a calling or while they call their clients or their leads. What are the common mistakes? Hi friends, I am Dr. Amol Maurya, real estate coach, real estate trainer, real estate author and actor. And in this video, I'll tell you a process, a detailed process, total mistakes what people commit whenever they call to their leads related with the real estate projects. First mistake is wrong timing. Most of the time people make same mistake that they call their prospective client or a lead at a time when it is not possible for their probable client to have a discussion. Suppose if a human being goes for a work at 10 o'clock, suppose I'll take a normal timing and he do all the primary activities in the first half between 10 to 1.30 or 2. So obviously it is not possible for someone to attend calls to understand some other product during that time. And the actual buyer is someone who is earning, who is busy. So we have to take into consideration the proper timing based on your city, your state and your country as well. That what is the exact work timing. If in your city, people follow a timing of working from morning 9 a.m. And they complete all the important tasks before 12 a.m. So you can call from 12 to 2 as well. You have to decide by doing a proper research in your surrounding and in your environment. But timing plays a very important role. If you call someone at a time in which he has some free time to have a discussion, then he'll give you a time to have a discussion. Suppose, for example, after lunch, if you call someone, and if he is uh, ready to accept your call or if he's ready to hear about an information about your product in that case you can get a time to explain your project to your probable client second point product pitching call only most of the people do the same thing they only and directly start with pitching pitching the product sir i'm calling from this this is my product no take a proper permission sir i'm calling from here and here this is my name and can I have a permission to discuss for two minutes or explain you my project for two minutes? Taking permission is very important aspect of a call. If you are not taking permission, if you are directly pitching your product, most of the people feel irritated. They will reject your call, they will cut your call or they will uh, shout at you. So don't, don't do this kind of mistake. Friends, you have seen till point number two. My only request to you is to subscribe our channel and hit like button. We don't want you to miss even a single video, a value added and a practical video. Third, calling with half product knowledge. This is the most important mistake many people do. They are into real estate business, but they don't know many things about their own project. Before calling, you have to prepare. You have to prepare about size of your product, price of your product, location advantage, what are the surrounding developments. When you know many things about your product and we, when you call with full knowledge, the opportunity or the chances of next steps, taking next step, coming for site visit increases. Step number four, following robotic script. Most of the people have no emotions in their call. They just follow a robotic pattern. They just, sir, this is the product, this is the cost. They, they are not at all interested in talking with people. They are not in, at all interested in making relations. They are not at all interested in knowing about their client if the call is going on for next two, three minutes. So if the client is taking interest, explain in a human manner talk with the normal uh, way of speaking most of the people change accent for calling don't do that sound familiar sound real sound original that increases your impact fifth mistake while people do objection denying every client will come out with an objection if your project is known project if you are promoting a brand it might be possible that during a call only a client can have an objection yes i have seen your previous project but I thought that price was more. This might be an objection that can come by when you are calling. Yes, I've seen your product, but uh, I only want to invest in your second project if the first project is completed. You must know everything. But most of the people, what they do in calling is they deny about the objection. They don't give detail on call and that's where you lose a client. So don't lose a client in your call. Point number six, lazy mindset, procrastination. This is the biggest mistake and the blunder people commit while they were calling. If people ask you to call tomorrow, they forget, they don't make any notes, they don't use softwares and the technologies to remember the things what the client had said. If the client had said, I'm outside of the city, I'm outside country, call me after seven days, they don't mention the records. 
if the client has shown an interest and he said that call me after seven days i'll plan for a side visit people forget that they don't maintain record this is a human nature human behavior please this is my advice to you all a lazy mindset cannot help you in increasing your business and growing your business. These are the common six mistakes people commit across the world while they were calling to a prospect or a client in the real estate industry. Do follow all the steps and you can get excellent results in the real estate business. If you have seen the point number six, do comment below that which mistake you have made before. Whenever you have done the calling work in the past, what kind of mistakes you have repeatedly done, do comment it below. Thank you so much for making a book real estate game change a national bestseller book. Thank you so much for liking our content, for subscribing our channel. We'll meet you in the next video.